Vega Blues. So some of you might remember last year I did a review for a kawaii box that they sent me and we also held a giveaway together so that one of you could win your own box and they have contacted me again this year asking if I would like to review one of their latest boxes and also do another giveaway for you guys. And since I enjoyed what was in my last kawaii boxes and also I really love giving you guys the chance to try these out, I said sure let's do it. So if you are interested in winning one of these boxes stay tuned until the end so I can tell you about the giveaway. But right now let's check out what's in this box. But first before we go into the box let me go over a little bit about what Kalei Box exactly is for those of you who do not know. So yes it is a subscription service where they send you 10 to 12 kawaii items a month for $18.90 a month if you get their monthly plan and if you go to the 3 months, 6 months and 12 month plan they do get a little bit cheaper a month because you are paying all at once so they give you a little bit of a discount. They also ship worldwide so you don't have to worry about them not shipping to you and it is free shipping worldwide so whatever your monthly rate is depending on which plan you get is exactly what you pay. There's no extra fees for shipping at all. So without further ado, let's check out what's in the box. So let's start off with a peek of what it first looks like. So of course we have the card and their card does give you all of the products listed on the back and it looks like there are 11 different products this month. The tissue paper is really cute though because it actually is like their own custom tissue paper which I don't think they had last year but it says Kawaii Box of course in their logo which is just really adorable. It's like from the first moment that you open up this box you are just bombarded with cuteness. Oh my gosh! <gasps> plushies! I love plushies! And this one is like a pretty good size and I think it might be a pencil case or something because it has a zipper but it is just a little pouched plushie which is just so cute. It's so cute. It's such an adorable little bunny and it says love right there on the front. So I am already loving this particular box and I just pulled out the first item. So let's see what else is in here because we have 10 more items to explore, which I'm really excited about. So this month seems to be filled with lots of pouches and things. So this one says Finger Family and it is a monster pouch. So it is just a regular little pouch here that you can put just small items in and the back is mesh here so you can see what's inside and even the front is a little bit translucent. So that's a nice item but definitely doesn't live up <laughs> to the cute little bunny pouch I just showed you guys. But this pouch definitely is another really cute item. It is just a little kitty on a ball chain and they did stuff it so take that out. Um, but inside is just a little pouch so you can carry a couple of small items and attach it to your keys or your backpack or your purse whatever you'd like but it's really cute and it is really soft. So next up we have a few candy items here and I don't really know if you can see that very well. Of course I will add close-ups for you guys but this is a poo lollipop and they're really popular this little poo character. Talking about poo on my YouTube channel. Never thought I'd be doing that. <laughs> I can't take this item seriously. It's just so crazy that you're putting a poo shaped lollipop in your mouth but it's it's popular so it is definitely a conversational piece. What's that you got there? Oh, poo. <laughs> Alright, All right, enough of the poo. <laughs> so this next candy item is definitely more up my alley. It is from Meiji and it is a DIY sushi bar gummy candy. So it looks like you get different sort of fish gummies and then you put it on the white rice like gummies and you make your own sushi. It does appear to have three different flavors, a cherry, lemon and banana, but there is only two different colored top gummies. So I'm going to guess that the banana flavored is possibly the rice underneath. So if you mix and match them, you get a different sort of flavor combination. 
So that is really cool. I will have fun trying these out. But Japan always has like the best candies in terms of like fun factor. The taste varies, you know, from person to person. It just depends on your own taste. But you definitely cannot deny how creative and fun their candies are. Next up, we have an item to kawaii fi. Kawaii fi. It's not a word whatever <laughs> um to kawaii fi your nails or your phone and they are just little like iridescent pink heart flakes which are really cute and it comes in this pack which you have tons so you can do your nails like 100 times over or really decorate your phone so these are always fun to try out if you are into making nail art and all of that so that's cool so the next item is some Jewelry Seal fashion stickers. These can also be used to decorate your phone or little cases and stuff, but it is much easier to use these than traditionally deco denning your phone if you're going to go with the full jeweled look. I've done it before and it does take a long time. You have to add glue to the back of your gems and then place it on your phone or your phone case or whatever. So it does get a little bit messy. So this is just an easier way to decorate your phone. And the set that I got comes with a bunch of different shapes like hearts and teardrops and like gem shapes and everything and it comes with two colors the pink and the white variety so that's really fun so the next item that i received in my box is a stamping set and it says so cute so it fits so perfectly with a kawaii box this set does come with five different stamps three of the traditional just regular stamp on kind of stamps and then two roller stamps that you can switch on and off depending on what you want and then of course some ink my set looks like it has a circus theme with animals so that's very cute and it's definitely an easy and fun way to dress up stationary and all of that the next item in my box is not a candy item though it fooled me when i first saw it in the box it is actually a pen so i think this is really cute and a bit too realistic so be careful if you have small children to make sure they are not sucking on this but it is just really adorable and I like how they almost always are always I haven't gotten every single box but I love how they add cute and adorable pens to their boxes as it is a fun way to like pay your bills and do all of that crummy work or just, you know, write cute letters to your friends and everything, but I really do enjoy their fun and cute pens. So we're getting near the end of the box, which is quite sad, as I really am enjoying all of these cute items. But next up is an envelope set, and mine just has a bunch of little crowns, and it's this cute sort of teal and pink color, but these are really cute. Like, they really try to make your life so cute. And it really works. These are really cute. So just like all of your life can be cute, which is dangerous for me because I would so do that. But I do think these are really cool. So I think I'm going to use them when I send out little notes inside my gift packages this year for Christmas. Um, I wonder how many it has inside though. You definitely get more than one. Maybe it looks to be about five or so of these. So a decent amount. Oh my gosh, I love cute stickers. So we've come to the end. This is the last item in my box and it is some animal puffy stickers. And I always love these stickers. They're just, oh, I love cute stickers. I love cute anything, but um, I have a sort of sea themed ones with penguins and seals and polar bears and whales and everything oh but look there's like little wolves and stuff on these are there wolves in the arctic i don't know but they're adorable so i don't care and then at the bottom we have some of their ads for their other boxes like their japan candy box which we have also done a review on that the giveaway is now over but you can always check that out to see what kind of things are in there and then Kawaii Box and Japan Candy Box is from Blippo. So it comes with a code for their site because you can go and just buy 
items like regular shopping from blippo.com. So those were all of the items that came in my kawaii box. I still love this item. That's so cute and he's so soft. But anyways, if you want to win your own box, and do keep in mind that you won't be winning this box, you will be winning a future box that hasn't been released yet, then check out the description down below to a link for a raffle copter gadget that'll allow you to do many different entries like, you know, liking my Facebook page, liking their Facebook page, all of that kind of stuff. I wish you all good luck on winning the box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!